Hello everybody and welcome to Food Blog's first ever series, Marvin's Five, with me, Marvin Gauci. In every episode, I will be limited by five fresh ingredients and I will create one exciting dish to prepare for your family and friends. Today, I will be showing you how to prepare a beautiful beef wellington using just five ingredients. And I'm going to order my five ingredients from the Walt app. Now my Walt has arrived. Here's my ingredients, thyme, fillet of beef, guanciale, my pastry and mushrooms. Super. Today's recipe, we're gonna pair it with this beautiful Reserva Chianti. Our first step, we're gonna start by heating the pan on a pretty high uh, heat because we need to seal it pretty well. Okay, seal our fillet pretty well. A little bit of olive oil, not too much. There you go. Boost it up a little bit more almost ready. On the other pan, we're going to prepare our mushrooms, which are over there. We're gonna chop the mushrooms uh, pretty fine, and we're gonna use half of the uh, mushrooms that we chopped and uh, have them cooked and stays there. And the other half, we're going to blitz it to get that creamy, smooth texture, okay? Over here, we have our pan pretty hot. Super, we're gonna seal it. We're not gonna put any salt to it right now because we don't want the juice to come out of the meat, okay? Perfect. Over here, we can start by chopping our oyster mushrooms. There you go. We need to have them pretty fine because we're going to use them to cover the meat before we put the pastry on top and chuck it in the oven. This is a beautiful dish. A lot of you might know it because our parents cook it for us or we go to a nice restaurant to eat it there. Okay, let's chop the mushrooms a little bit more. We also have some chestnut mushrooms and some normal mushrooms to have a nice, good, different taste of mushrooms, okay? We have the guanciale over here, and we're also going to add this after we do the process of cooking the mushrooms. In our dish, we will put the mushrooms with a little bit of butter. Perfect. Now it's time to turn our meat to seal a little bit more. I'm going to chop the white mushrooms now. There you go. And then finally we chop the chestnut mushrooms and we put them all into our mixture. Let's see over here, it's cooking good. Super. We're going to add some salt with the mushrooms so we remove as much juice as possible. The mushrooms that I'm chopping right now, I'm going to add a little bit of thyme. Continue sealing our meat. Chop the mushrooms a little bit more to have a nice texture for our beef wellington. There you go. The thyme with this recipe will give it a very nice aroma 
and also taste. Over there, the meat is almost done from the sides. I'm going to seal the top part. And then seal the bottom. A little bit more chopping over here. And voila, there you go. Now, as I said earlier, I'm going to put the salt in to extract all the juice out of the mushrooms. Always remember, guys, use salt when you need to extract liquid out of the ingredient. Normally with meat, you put salt after, but in this case with the mushrooms, we needed to extract it from it. Let's put in a little bit of thyme over here to give the meat a little bit of thyme flavor. And we're going to take one or two small springs of thyme and we Chuck it in with our mushrooms. Perfect. This is quite an easy recipe. Although it sounds complicated, it's a very easy recipe to prepare at home for your family and friends. Amazing. Now, I need to dry the mushrooms a little bit more. As you see, it's still a little bit moist. The meat is almost ready. We have our tray over here. to put it on it. I have the pastry in the fridge. Let me put some wine for myself. It's beautiful Chianti. It's gonna pair pretty well with our beef wellington. Very nice. Now, half the mixture of the mushrooms, I'm going to put it in here, okay? To make a smooth texture, okay? Super. Very good, let's leave that over there. The meat is now ready, nice and seared. Give it a little bit more on the other side. Remember, all we need to do now is put the mixture that we have of the mushrooms and the guanciale on top of it put the pastry on top and then stick it into the oven. And all it will take for a maximum 25 minutes until the pastry is nice and golden, okay? So here we're ready with this. Place it over here. We're ready from this. This is pretty dry as we want it. There you go to cook this a little bit more with the guanciale. I throw the guanciale at the end. First of all, I don't want to blitz like I, I did over there, and I need to crisp it up a little bit. Perfect. Super. Very good. This looks pretty nice. As we see, it's not that moist. I'm going to throw in the paste that I did. You can also throw in, a, if you have at home, you can throw in a little bit of truffle paste. It will give it that little extra flavor that blends well with the guanciale and also with the mushrooms. Good. Oh, I can smell the thyme already. Sealing. Let's glaze the pan a little bit. And this is almost ready. Now that our mixture is nice and dry, nice and crispy as well, our meat is ready. We're gonna leave it on our dish to rest a little bit. We're ready with this. We'll leave it resting. Now we're going to put 
There you go. Let's flatten it a little bit on top so we can put our mushrooms and flatten them on the top just before we put our pastry around it. Wow, the smell, it's already enough. Beautiful. Let's clean it here a little bit. So we'll put the pastry around it. Like the pastry. There you go. And we wrap it around. Okay? Flatten it a little bit from the top. We cut the extra parts. There you go. Now, you can just add a little bit of butter so it browns a little bit better. I don't want it to have a shiny look, so I'm not going to put eggs, okay? Now that the oven is preheated onto 190 degrees, I'm going to put it in the oven for at least 25 minutes, and then we check from there. Now that our meat is ready, I'm gonna place it over here. Look at this nice and golden color. We take it out from the dish. Perfect. Nice and crispy. I'm going to remove a little bit from the side. Perfect. And we're going to slice it nicely. There you go. Look how juicy the meat came. Perfect. Now that our dish is prepared, I'm gonna taste it. And I'm going to try it with the wine. Yeah, this tastes amazing with only five ingredients. And from here, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Fino and Walt for the delivery and our kitchen. If you're enjoying our videos, please hit the like button and make sure you follow us next week.